Oh, where do we want to start? Nintendo, Sony, or Microsoft? Nintendo. We always gotta go with. <sighs> we're gonna go with Nintendo for the start. Why Did you Nintendo? watch it? Did you watch no, it? No, but I know everything that was revealed. So the games that got revealed are the spl the spl <laughs> You can't even pronounce it. I don't even know. A new Legend of Zelda game. I know. Hyrulean Warriors, which was announced ages ago, but we got a gameplay. I think it's gonna be on their new console that I have not announced yet. Uh, they haven't got a new console coming out. They even no, because um, because we U failed and it's no, failing. no, actually it it's, is not failing. it's not it failing. It's not failing. It's not failing. Just fail with me. Just fail with me. But Mario Kart Eight saved it. Mario Kart Eight saved it. Would you please? And Mario Kart Eight is amazing. Would you please fail with me? Okay. Nintendo apparently rushing to make a new console. They're stupid if they do. Up. You do know that um, if they do that, <laughs> that's a bad business move. They they're not doing that. They've even said in a uh, interview it's just with leaks. Michael Re with Reggie. It's just leaks with Reggie. And rumors. Yeah, just saying. it's not real. It's not real. Reggie so. even said he's not. And yeah. plus, the Wii U is actually selling okay now. I know it. Okay. And the 3DS is like a win right now. So yeah. I love the 3DS in my personal opinion. But there were no there were other than Pokemon the new Pokemon game Alpha Omega. I'm not gonna have myself. The Pokemon games are the best. Some no. of the best games I've ever played. They're really good. I don't know. I haven't been. I've never actually played Pokemon. Yeah, you should give them a try. Never. Oh yeah. Sorry. Not enough gore. No. No FPS. <laughs> oh yeah. They were uh, Nintendo released. Take, you can take pictures. There was in a first new person. third person shooter. Oh okay. What's the new first person shooter? Third person shooter. Third person shooter. Mm. Uh, can't remember the title. If any of you know the title, please comment in the description below. But I actually can't remember the title. So it wasn't exactly that great, was it? No, it wasn't. Um, so we got for so Microsoft conference. We got. Well, let's go down. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So we got a lot going on, like Crackdown. Crackdown, crackdown free, confirmed. I'm not and really like, a fan of the Crackdown. I, I'm this seeing. will uh, show off Microsoft servers because. It's a fully destructible environment, uh, environment, and all the destruction will be running on the cloud. Yeah. So it's cloud supported, um, one hundred percent. So it requires an internet connection, in other words. Oh wow! Every to this, play single player. Let's just face it. This year to play single player. Th this this generation is just going to be the internet generation of you know you're going to need an internet connection or some games you're just not going to be able to play. Uh, Titanfall being a great example. But anyway, there you was... You that's the case with today, haven't you? No, because I, that is a great example. Okay. Um, also, yeah. the Halo Master Chief Collection. I was going to say that. Too bad. <laughs> I love this title that is coming out, and it looks amazing. So there was... Over 500 multiplayer maps all running on the original Halo engine. Actually, it's been, like, upgraded a little... No. Graphic wise, eight, eight or six, uh, Halo Two maps have been upgraded. Yeah, and then the rest. So let's say you, you want to go. Oh, I fancy playing Halo Four, and then that will be splintered off into its own engine. Halo Two. Okay, these are all the engines. Halo Combat Evolved. Um, then it's Halo Two, Halo Two Anniversary, which is only six maps. Halo Three, and then Halo Four. All their engines are still intact. Uh, maps. Um, only difference is um, they're all in custom playlists. Oh, cool, cool. Um, but Halo Five, what what have you? Halo gathered Five from Guardians. That? There is what? a new beta trailer. So with the Master Chief Edition, you get uh, the four games yeah. and Halo Two Anniversary, of course, and you get uh, Halo Nightfall, which is a television series. Yeah. And also, you get Halo Five beta. Now. Halo so 5 has, there, has there been much revealed of the Halo 5 beta at all? Like any multiplayer, actual multiplayer, or what's going to be included in, in a the beta? Trailer, which, uh, if you slow it down frame by frame, you actually get quite a bit of. But yeah. to the normal eye, it would be terrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also, some other news being, is there any other games at the Microsoft conference? The Division? Division, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, four-player co-op. Uh, not a big fan at the moment. What are you a big fan of? I'm a, I'm a big fan of um, a lot of things actually. Yeah. Just nothing came. The thing with this E3, I can definitely say I wasn't like blown away. Blown away like uh, previous E3s. Uh, yeah. It's just basically the game industry. I think has used so many things over and over again. Nothing yeah. is going to be new. Plus, everyone saw the Halo. 
Master Chief Collection yeah, coming. It was leaked. It was leaked so bad. But if it was, re- it seemed too true to be real. Also, Battlefield Hardline looks good, uh, in my opinion. It looks pretty it's fun. Basically, Battlefield Four. It looks really different. It's, it's basically Battlefield Four. Run on the same engine, same graphics. I, actually, people are comparing it to Payday Two because it's basically Payday Two B. It, it, it's basically paid, Payday Two in the Battlefield Four engine. Yeah, but it's visceral games. They don't know what they're doing. I mean, Dead Space Three. I, mm. I, I I was okay with it. I just personally like Dead Space Two more. And mm. I love One, but I love Dead Space Two mm. a lot. Um, but yeah. visceral games. I don't think they can make a good BS game in my life. Yeah. Also, um, oh oh. I need to say this one. Call of Duty Advanced Warfighter. Warfare. Not a really... I didn't watch any it of that. It looked amazing. Well, what about... What about... Um, Mirror's Edge 2? Oh, my God. That, that was, was pretty crazy. Um, Star Wars Battlefront 3 was oh, an EA. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing. I was so happy to see that. Mm. Um, what was else? Was there, there was Far Cry 4. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, there was a trailer for the bad guy, and then there was gameplay. Yeah, um, I am... Um, Apparently, co-op. you can co-op with yeah. someone that doesn't even have the game. What? Seriously? This is what you know. Chaos ETC. Yeah. Apparently, he said that you can co-op with with someone that doesn't have the game. Oh my god! I know. I thought it was online. I thought online it, co-op but, with no one that actually. Actually, there is um there was actually some news at the Sony conference. Basically, if you have four, Far Cry Four on PS3, and yeah. you have Far Cry Four on PS4. If one of your friends has it on PS4 and then you have it on yeah, PS3, they, they, they said basically that, you can still do the co-op. Yeah, they said um, this on Xbox One and 360. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. Um, I, I like what Ubisoft is doing lately. Yeah, Ubisoft is one of my favorite developers. And EA have basically done shit all. They they they're literally done nothing. Oh, uh, what was that? I said EA. Oh, Star Wars Battlefront, Mirror's Edge Two. Actually, those and are, FIFA 15. I, I would count those as dice games, and then EA is pretty much FIFA. Uh, um, but Titanfall, that was the respawn, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a respawn entertainment. Which surprisingly, I I, I generally the first get ever game, it, it was yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, very good. What do you think they're working on now? Um, probably the second sequel. Let's just face it. Because apparently, um, what I've read up, they've switched Studio Anchor too. Have they? So they've done what Naughty Dog are doing right now. So uh, that what with the one of them working on the sequel project, which is probably going to be Last of Us Two. And then a quarter working on Last of Us Remastered, and then another half working on uh, Uncharted Four. Yeah, uh, Uncharted Four: Thief's Tale. Yep, cannot wait. Being as we got the title, we may as well call it the full title. Let's just face it: Nathan Drake's gonna die. Everyone knows it. It's, it. They've said it will be the last Uncharted. Yeah, and I'm gonna be really sad when I finish the game because generally the Uncharted It'll games. Be, are spoiler small. alert: Walking Dead all over again. <laughs> oh, oh no! I warned you. It's gonna be um, Sully and Nathan. The he's dying and Sully. Oh no! I, I don't want to see that. But oh, Last of Us Remastered was apparently gonna be in 2015. It's actually coming out in August, which yeah. is insane. Surprise, surprise. Not really. Um, what else was at Microsoft conference? Huh. There was Sunset Overdrive. Oh yes, that looked like a lot of fun. It is, but it looked very uh, you know easy to be honest. No, I don't. A very easy game. Excuse me. You know developers at E uh, E three. I know. Always put God mode on. Oh well, you know, Insomniac Games, bro. I can't believe they went over to Microsoft so well. Yeah, Microsoft is just taking all my love. All Microsoft do is, hello. Yes. Do yes. you want money? Come to us. Thank you. And then, well, <laughs> next, my favorite game. You'll be surprised by how excited I was when we, I saw this. What? But not many people. A lot of people at, uh, who were at the conference were super excited. I, I, I was definitely excited. What? Little Big Planet 3. Is no, I don't like Little Big Planet. <laughs> you haven't even played the Creative I have mode. played. No, I haven't played the Creative. Then you haven't even experienced the game, my friend. Because if you just played the single player, I'm sorry. That's just terrible. Little Big Planet 3 was in the after the week of the shit. Little Big Planet V what? Don't you mean just Viva Pinata? Like what am I thinking of? Uh, like Pinata. Yeah, Viva Pinata. That's a completely no. different game. No, because that's Microsoft exclusive. Uh, there was a Pinata game that had little red planet characters in it. I don't even want to know what that was. But anyway, I um, it's probably some like party game. Probably. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, I really like what they're doing. So different character classes mm. instead of Sackboy. It's really cool. A lot more cooperation. Mm. So 
really excited for that game. We saw a bit of gameplay. It was really fun. Order. Order 1886. Not a big I fan. What I saw, that. it was mainly button mashing from what we saw. It looked awesome. It looked I'm getting meh. it. I thought it was only a PS4 exclusive. It is. Oh. You getting that? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um... But I what, think, I, Dead think Island that, I think 2? that will be a system seller. Yeah, I'm just saying because it's been a long time since we had a game like that. What a third person shooter? Third person? Sh- no, not no, like a Victorian. Uh, no, like a, a werewolf, punk. werewolf vampire type game. Yeah, we haven't had one of those in a while. <laughs> Red, Twilight last, ruined that for us. Uh, yeah. Resident Evil was the last game I can remember. Oh, uh, they had werewolf. No, they had like a no. What am I thinking of? Underworld, shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I'm thinking of Underworld. There was a trailer for Dead Island 2. Not yeah. excited at all. Don't think it's going to be any good. It was just a CG trailer. Yeah, I know, but, but still. It, it did look Let's just face fun. it. Let's just face it. Deadlight is just going to kick its ass. Of Deadlight. Course. Daylight, the I mean. The people... No, wait. Is it Deadlight? Or it's Daylight. 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 People who made Dead Island... No, is it Deadlight? I, oh, there is another game, a horror game, that's called Daylight, and I think... Yeah. The, oh, it's people Deadlight. who made Dying Dead Light, Dying Light, Dying yeah, Light. Right. People who made Dead Island have gone over to make Day Dying Light, and yeah. now a new day company has taken over Dead, Dead Island. Island. So I hope, hope now, to God. That the the thing they went right with the, the CGI trailer is that it wasn't emotionally sad. And then the game turned out to be shit. Yeah, which was so dis. I I remember two thousand eleven. If 2011. the game was sad and emotional and horror like that, I would have loved it. Oh, that would have been so great. Like The Walking Dead, you know, the beginning, the episode that 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 shit's sad. Um, but anyway, Dead Island, not a big fan of it ever since I played Riptide, and I generally disliked I it. Like disliked Riptide. It. Riptide's actually kind of fun. But when the original uh, Dead Island came out, I was severely disappointed by how the voice acting was terrible, the gameplay got repetitive, and the world was just not that interesting overall. But the char- the main characters, Sam B being one of them, best character I've ever seen in a zombie game, as far as I'm concerned. The Witcher 3. <gasps> how? I was thinking that. You were talking, and I was just like, what can I do to get back at them? What can I... Witcher 3. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait for that game. I'm literally, I, I, I'm so excited for The Witcher 3. I, oh. So we got a gameplay trailer that yes. was absolutely... Basically, in the gameplay trailer, you're Gareth of Rivia... Uh, how do you pronounce it? I, 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 don't, I don't, <laughs> don't think anyone can... Remember. Gareth of Rivia. Yeah. And uh, you're part of the um, Witcher organization, which is a band of, like, people who go around... Just imagine... Just imagine imagine the, bounty hunters, but they go around helping people. Yeah. And killing uh, the bad guys. Yeah, bad whatever. guys. Yada yada yada. Kay. So in this, you're hunting a griffin, which is this type of giant bird, and you're hunting this griffin. You shoot it. It leaves a trail of blood because it flies off. Yeah. You f- follow the blood in use focus mode. Suddenly, you come across this tavern that's being ransacked by bandits, mm-hmm. and there's the the woman there. Yeah. So you save her. Then you talk to her. She says, what brings you here? And you either say, uh, who were they? Or I'm tracking a griffin. And then if you, uh, like, it, depending on what one you choose, yeah. it will open a different side quest. So you can finish the griffin. And then it, he said, um, I was hunting a griffin. And she said something. And then Garrett said, I'll come back later and see if you're all right. So that opens another side quest after you do the griffin. Yeah, that's great. And uh, uh, so then he goes on and kills the griffin, yada, yada, yada. Uh, that ends the gameplay. But he did an interview with a lead game developer, and last time he checked, yeah. there was over 46, no, 56 different endings. What? Now, I didn't actually hear that far <laughs> at all, but 56. Now, I'm just going to say, just because there's so many endings, will it just be like, some endings will be like, just little tweaks to the side, and then some ending they're all big endings, are they? Yeah. So, what if there's an, an, a witch, say that if a witch of four came out, and say in The Witcher 3, your There's ending... There's no Witcher 4, because Witcher 3 is going to be the last one. Uh, trust me. It's part of the trilogy. Trust, trust they've, said, they've said they want... There are games, like, that they, have they said, oh, this is the last one, and then what uh, happens, like, a couple years later? Halo's a good example of that. Halo <laughs> is a great example. Halo 3, <laughs> last Halo game. Halo DST. Okay. No, this is the last one. Halo. Oh, wait, no, we have Halo Reach. And then Bungie were like... This is the last one. But they quoted it. This is the last Halo game we're ever going to make. 
And that's how it actually That's how it actually happened. Everyone thought of Halo when they lost Halo game was gonna be really good. It was really good. And Halo Reach was actually great. And then Halo 4 came out, wait a minute, but you know, if you listen, Lost Halo Games we're ever going to make said by Bungie, not last ever Halo game. I think they kinda knew that they were gonna sign the rights over to a different company. Well Microsoft owners own the rights to yeah. Halo, so But Destiny, we saw a lot of that. Yeah. That was a hell of a lot there. I liked Mar- the bit where they were on Mars as astronauts. That was fun. Yeah, the 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 whole story about uh, Mars and all that. Um, mm. But from the gameplay, it looks a lot like you know a really awesome, ver- a serious version of Borderlands. Also, I like the whole mini boss thing where you're randomly like fighting. Yeah. And a mini boss will just come in at random. That's pretty badass, in my mm. opinion. Excuse me. Mm. I'm tired. Right. What else happened? I'm not sure. That's pretty much all I got. Other than the Nintendo. Arkham Knight. Batmobile. Yes, the Batmobile. Um, I don't like what I saw actually. I li- I mean, I liked what I saw when the world and it, but I don't yeah. like the I like the Batmobile can drive around, but the combat mode on the Batmobile it looked really boring in my opinion. I saw it and I was like, no, it doesn't suit the game. You know, Why? the whole combat mode. I- you know, combat the combat mode is for taking out unmanned tanks. Yeah, I know, but. Yeah. I, I didn't when I saw the like the gameplay I yeah. was like mm, I'm not sure I don't know. Yeah. Um, Phantom Dust got announced. And I Phantom re- Dust. Everyone they like it was meant to be the original Xbox title. The Phantom. Uh, you mean the Phantom? Pain. No, that was yeah. Sony. Oh, My, yeah. At Microsoft there was a thing and it's called the Phantom Dust. There was a CG trailer about it, and it was a game that was on the original Xbox. Yeah. But uh, it was like one of the launch titles. They did nothing with it ever since, and now mm. they're relaunching it. So uh, that's, that's some people know what it is. I literally have no. I don't know. Uh, bad. What did I like about E3? The fact that Square Enix did nothing this year. Nothing at all. They decided not. Rise to of the Tomb Raider. Well, take that back. Actually, that's by de- uh, that's developed by Crystal Dynamics, but Square Enix did nothing. Um, there's, there's also no, there, there was no, there around. was no stand. I don't think. For anything. GTA 5 for Xbox One. Like oh, that. such a smart move. Also PC. So yeah. now all you console gamers can stop bugging me and saying, we have GTA 5. Yeah, but you don't get it till November. Oh, we don't really care, to be honest. We're just happy to have it now. So am I. I'm, I'm happy to have it. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy to well, have it. Well, put it this way. As soon as we... Uh, blah, 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 but your theory yeah. was really good, but yeah. remember... Oh, yeah, yeah, I had a theory. Rockstar will not launch it on PC or next-gen consoles. Until all the DLCs come so out. So Game of the Year edition. Yeah, Game of the Year edition came out. That was a good deal. I feel like yeah, I thought that was a great theory. That would have been good. Just keep uh, people hyped up. Uh, but yeah, uh, Square Enix, I love them. And just nothing this year. I was so disappointed. Uh, what did you think of Rise of the Tomb Raider anyway? Um, well, the original one, the, the Light of the Guardian or something, I re- it was really fun. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. What well, about some... the new Tomb Raider in Blade Reach? Oh, you mean the definitive Tomb Raider? <laughs> the, 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 the definitive edition. You mean the, oh, I love the Tomb Raider re- reboot. I thought it was one of my favorite games of t- uh, 2013. Uh, also, alongside the GTA 5 and all mm. that, some it was one of the one of those good games that you thought, well, you know, they screwed up with the last. I one. was lucky because Wait. I was one of the people who didn't play the original Tomb Raider. Yeah. Like no, the original, not the original. Like the, the definitive edition. Yeah. It was definitive edition. That was a remake of the original, the the Tomb Raider on PS3. Yeah, which is good. I didn't play that. I. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> Oops. Was it? Ja- is it Jack? Probably most likely. Shh. Right. Where was I? Where was I? Was it Jack? Oh, it's, no, it's some other person. Right. Um. So I didn't play it on 360 and PS uh, PS3. Yeah. So I got the definitive edition, <laughs> like new, and I was like, oh my god, this game's amazing. I wish I played it earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, I it was actually wh- when I watched it at E3 in 2012. Mm. I was so hyped for it because the trailer was amazing. The trailer looked so good. And it looked beast. Um, yeah. But the really weird thing about the definitive edition is basically multiplayer DLC. Yeah. And no one plays. <laughs> no, one the, play <laughs> no one plays the goddamn multiplayer. But other than that, it's a good game. Very good mm. game. Very good game. Um, but other than that, that's all I gotta really talk um, about. Is there anything else? Um, there has to be more. Uh, there probably was, but uh, I, I, um, I, this is the real weird thing. E three this year for me, I haven't really been paying a lot of attention to. I watched all the conferences, yeah. um, but other than that, I didn't really actually, you know, watch any sort of like videos yeah. of the actual area, what it looked like, all yeah. the different booths. Um, um 
which I did with last year mm. and the year before that. Um, and I think the reason why I loved E3 last year was because of the the fact that Xbox, you know, Microsoft, they fucked like they up. fucked everything up, and I, I I actually enjoyed watching that because it was so funny. Because oh yeah, Doom. We forgot to mention Doom. Well, shit. Um, not much to say about Doom other than the fact that I'm really excited. It, it you know, Wolfenstein: The New Order was such yeah. a good game. Uh, I really enjoyed that game. Um. But, you know, uh, not much to say about Doom mm. other than the fact that I hope it's made by Machine Games. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, Phantom Dead. Um, there was a lot of indie games from Xbox this year. Also, a lot from PS... Uh, PS- and Happy Wars is coming to Xbox One. Ah, oh, I love Happy Wars. It's a f- good free-to-play game. It is. And Evolve goes to free Microsoft booth as well. Not sure what that is. Evolve, four players versus one player. Oh, wow. Four Hunters. Which each has their own, like, there's an edic, a salt, a trapper, a, a tracker, and a hunter. Yeah. And then another player plays the monster. All right. And he has to evade them for the most amount of time. So the more time that uh, the monster evades the humans, the more yeah. he evolves and gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Oh, um, w- was there any news on the new Dragon Age and the Fable Legends? Yes, Fable Legends is exactly the same as Evolve. It's basically four players versus one player, which is the villain. Oh, okay. And he's shit. Yeah, that sounds fun. But I want to hear more about Dragon Age. Dragon Age Inquisition. 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 Uh, well, Bioware made a game in an ages, in my opinion. Yeah, it's, seriously, I, I, have you seen a game recently by, by Bioware that you played? Last game that had to be Mass Effect 3. Yeah, that's the last one I played by Bioware. The Division. Uh, New gameplay on The Division. Oh, cool. Hmm. That was What's that scale bound right there? Scale Forza Horizon 2. Yeah, that was a expected, very expected, because it was released at Microsoft. Yeah. Um, so. Scalebound. Shadow of Mordor. Yes, this was very fun. Now, I haven't watched any gameplay for Shadow of Mordor yet, but is it badass? Yes. It's basically, there's ways you can go about it. You can go about it full-blown stealth, uh, full-blown combat, stealth, or... Somewhere in the middle. It sounds like a lot like how Deus Ex use, works, where it's like you can choose to go stealth, yeah, attack, basically like every mm. game these days do that. Yeah. Um. But what yeah. else got announced in Sony's Cross Next Conference? There was uh just a load of indie. What did we get about Morpheus this year? Uh, nothing actually, other than the fact that uh they're in just working on it. That's it. That's oh, all we right. got. Like, I um, didn't watch all of Sony's press conference, I watched bits of it, and I didn't, I thought that they would have mentioned Morpheus this year. They did mention it, but they only, they like, they showed it, and yeah. then they were like, well, we're working on it. We're working on it. Check yeah, it. Yeah, and then it was off. And also they announced um, PlayStation TV. PlayStation Now. Play, PlayStation Now, and then this little box thing. Yeah. In which... It's like, I don't know what it does. I just know it's called PlayStation TV. It's a little box that costs 90, yeah. 99 uh, pounds or dollars or whatever. And um, mm. basically, it's like you can play PlayStation games on your... PlayStation 1 and PlayStation... Yeah, I know. Yeah, on the basically, TV. you can play PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games on this little box yeah. digitally. Uh, it uses PlayStation Now, so you can use TV, films, uh, movies, uh, PS2 games and PS1 games. I don't know about PS3. I think it does operate PS3 games. Don't know. Well, I have no idea what it was because when they explained it E3, they explained it so like discreetly. It was like, oh, you can do this and that, and it was like you can play PS3 games. And then at one second they were like, no, okay, uh, move on, move on. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, back it up. Do you think Sony rushed their press conference? Um, like. I noticed that I noticed there was like it, it would switch yeah. from each game and it would just go like okay so now there's no trailer yeah like um how long did Sony's press conference go on for? Uh, an hour and forty eight minutes same similar to Microsoft then and do you want to know how long Nintendo's went for how long forty eight minutes <laughs> there wasn't much of it oh, there, <laughs> there was uh, Super Smash Bros which was cool yeah. Super Smash Bros is one of my favorites yes. love Super Smash Bros yes. we can all admit that we love Super Smash. Uh, but other than that, there's not much from Nintendo this year. Yeah, Nintendo didn't get much this year. Uh, there's Bayonetta 2, Ugh. which I love the first Never, game. I've never played Bayonetta. Bayonetta is basically a hot chick 
who's quite chill and you get to see what? it. What? Have we said anything about the new... What was that uh, game where, like, it was a space marine, but then she turned out to be a woman? Oh. I don't know. Uh, Wasn't there a, uh, more on Alien Isolation this year? No, surprisingly, there was nothing. Ah, uh, that's weird. There was some more news on Drive Club, which isn't much of a Ah, uh, I don't really care about Drive Club. Uh, uh, there was no information on the crew, I don't believe. Yeah, there was. Was there? Hey, the see of yourselves press conference. Was there? Okay. We got a release date. Cool. What's the release date? 2015. I can't remember. It's this year. Is it this year? Yes. Delayed. No. Uh, but... Uh, uh, I never, going back to the ha- um, Halo 5 beta, yeah. the release date for the Halo 5 beta, mm-hmm. if you ride Master Chief Edition, which comes out on November the 11th, mm. you get it on December the 31st, the beta. Oh wow! Oh, just before New Year's Day. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not. Uh, I'm literally on New Year's Eve. I'll be like, yeah, fuck your family. So <laughs> basically, you know, Microsoft and Sony, they try and do conferences to uh, conferences to um, try and de- get do the best conference to like win people over. Yeah. Surprisingly, even though I did love the whole Little Big Planet three mm-hmm. and tried four, you know, uh, yeah. remastered edition. There wasn't actually many new game announcements. There was a lot of game announcements there. In Microsoft. Microsoft. Uh, but, the way they <laughs> um, advertised it, yeah. I didn't like. Well, I don't even Both say them, uh, that a lot of people have been won over by Microsoft. Due to the Halo collection, yeah. and yeah. also the fact that Halo t- they're doing the smart idea of doing Halo 2 multiplayer again. Because they got yeah. rid of the Halo 2 multiplayer. Except on PC. Uh, yeah, which is weird because I managed to find a copy of the Halo 2 yeah. PC. And I played it, and it's a lot of fun. Hmm. Um, there was new Titanfall DLC announced. Oh, again. Hmm. Customization DLC. Uh, but I can definitely say, overall, I generally think the Microsoft uh, was my was the best. Yeah. Uh, Phil Spencer kept changing his shirts as usual. Yeah, he comes in. <laughs> and he's like, he like comes out um, and last year, uh, State of the K showed up, so he wore State. Yeah, uh, I State know. I remember shirt. that State. Then suddenly, something else came on. I think it was a. Uh, uh, I don't know. It was it, Titanfall, it, it, so he wore a Titanfall shirt. Yeah. And then he would keep changing his shirts. This year he wore Limbo, Limbo. Um, Phantom Dust, Halo, uh, Halo, and Crackdown. So literally, before uh, it gets announced, you can go, okay, I know what it's going to be. Mm. This is the shirt. Now, <laughs> when is uh, Elder Scrolls Online coming out? The Xbox One? Still no release date. Seriously? Yeah, it's been delayed. A lot. Wow, they really messed up. You know what? I'm going to cancel my pre-order for the Xbox One version and just buy it on PC. Yeah. When That's I get fine. my PC. But I probably won't but get my PC. But you know that uh, I, d- I probably won't play that with you. Because I, I, I don't want to touch that game. Please. I'm sorry. I, I like what Microsoft are doing now. Yeah. They're releasing... Tro- can, they, they, they release them, but you can also win them. For the World Cup... Mm. This has gone off subject about e- uh, eSports. Um... They're releasing controllers themed with every World Cup's flag. So basically, you can go home yeah. and you can have an England flag on your controller. Yeah. I probably won't. Or you can get the Brazil flag. On the I want the Brazil flag. Really? <laughs> that, that, that looks actually kind of badass. Really? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, there was more announced. Uh, well, I don't know anymore. That's about it for me. Um. Oh yeah, Dan Central was announced. I was just like, no, no, no. Oh Jesus! It, when it was live streaming the Dan Central, I just went, okay, this is my time to go to the toilet and get a drink and get some food and go back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, <laughs> go away. <laughs> yeah. Shape up, shape up. It's a new Connect uh, fitness pin. Oh, for God's sake! So they're gonna get rid of the whole fitness. Connect. Uh, uh, Killer Instinct Season 2 DLC character. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, they've been announced, which is good. Um, Orion and the Blind Forest. Yeah. Basically, did you do you know Child of the Light? Yeah, I it's love that. It's basically like that. It's from ah. Ubisoft. So Ubisoft, okay. So, uh, it's not that good, actually. It doesn't look that good. I think Child of the Light was great. There was one more thing that was announced, so one more exclusive. Mm, I, we I, haven't touched much on Uncharted 4, so why don't we go back to that? Uh, okay. Well, there wasn't much announced other than just the trailer. That's all we got, that's can, pretty much. Can you believe there's no need to do this year? Yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? There's they, usually they, one every they year. They come out and said um, they're going to take a break this year. 
Oh wow! You know what? I wish somebody would do that. What? Call of Duty, like oh, oh let's don't, take a, let's don't, take no, a break. No one's gonna do that. Take a break. No, for a they're sec. not gonna do that because they've got three companies working on one Call of Duty. They literally only have one. No, there's been there's uh, so much Halo going on right now. This e this I think E3 has been taken over by Halo. Um, no, I haven't because yeah, sure Halo. We haven't had a Halo in a while. Yeah, well, twenty twelve. Every two years we get a Halo game. Pretty much. Except for an anniversary, which is for the anniversary. And Halo 2 is going to be the last anniversary. Yeah, no. So Halo we're never going to get another anniversary again. Yeah. Which well, it's good to finally get, like, Halo 4 and Halo 3 on your Xbox One. Even and Halo 2 and Halo 1. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, did you play Halo 1 on PC? Yeah, I loved it. You know when you switched back to the old graphics, there was that moment of lag. Yeah. Now it's instant. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, actually, surprisingly, when I finally got an Xbox 360, yeah. the, the on a Christmas day, mm. I got a Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Now, yeah. I had no clue what this was, because yes. I, ne- I hadn't even heard about yeah. this. I only knew Halo 1 exists, Halo 2, yeah. Halo 3, and then Halo 4 yeah. was coming out like n- the year after, yeah. so this was in 2011. Yeah. And um, I remember. I got I, it, I got it, yeah. and I, I remember like looking at it, I was like, what the fuck is this? Oh, please don't be another ODST. Open it, I play it, it's like... This game, Halo One, when you oh my it. god, it's and then they added the Halo re- a really rubbish Halo Reach multiplayer to it. It was terrible. It was like it had the it had small maps of like the original of not even well Halo One didn't even have multiplayer, did it? Yeah. It, was, it was Halo On Three. On PC, it did. Did it? Well, it had and like it did. Halo, Halo maps. One had multiplayer, but it was nothing. Uh, but there was like no customization for your character or anything. Uh. So, so it was pretty pointless. They introduced that first in Halo. Three, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, no, I thought it was Halo Reach. They introduced the co- co- player customization. No, it was Halo Three because you could, if you completed the campaign on Legendary, in my, in you my, got sp- like in my opinion, Halo Three is my favorite multiplayer. Yes. I um, felt I felt the, the guns and everything was so balanced and the maps were so big. Because there was no like, you couldn't take your own personal loadouts in. It was just like there's a battle rifle and an assault rifle now. Yeah. Just fuck off. <laughs> Halo has changed so much. Yeah, I hope it goes back to its core. Uh, I, I I'm so excited for Halo Two multiplayer because I just really enjoyed it. On Let's the touch on Forza Horizon Two before we go. I don't even know anything about it. Basically, did you play Forza Horizon One? Uh, Do you know what Forza Horizon One is? Yes. Oh, for, it's like Need for Speed Rivals and Need for Speed Most Wanted. It's more like Need for Speed Most Wanted, basically. Just that's an easy way of describing it. Mm. Um. Uh, open world and the graph it's running on the Forza 5 engine mm-hmm. looks so realistic yeah oh my god and basically it's set in Europe of course in Italy nice and you day night weather cycle weather cycle day night cycle oh my god it just looks so pretty of course it's race car but okay guys I need to tell you something I haven't made a video in forever. Yeah, and that's why I've been trying to chug out Let's Plays constantly and shit like that. Yeah, he's uh, been covering for me because it's my exam time. Yeah, if I, like, I'm going I through didn't mean to, like, I meant to sh- uh, tell, do this tell. this many Let's Plays that I'm doing, but I didn't mean to, like, uh, shit them out so fast. It's just I had to cover for Dom because he wasn't making any videos. So. Um, but I hopefully uh, I will get back to doing that. Uh, next week is my final exam. It's our final exam, actually. Oh shit! I should have revised. Um, <laughs> well, you can't really revise for a maths calculator exam, can you? Uh, you can, but you know, mo- like I uh, don't worry about it. But anyways, once that's over, and once I sort a few things out, I like don't... his console of choice has been destroyed. Yeah. Do you want to touch on that? What happened? No. <laughs> we need to tell them. What? What happened to your PlayStation Three? Oh yeah, so basically one day, I'm on place. This is this is like completely off topic, but I, uh, most of my gameplay was on my PS3 uh, because my PC doesn't have any component cables. So I'm right currently using a HD PVR one, which uses components. And I use the HD PVR two, which uses HDMI cables. Uh, but sadly, um, I was supposed to be revising, and my uh, dad came in. And he basically uh, wiped the PS PlayStation. Said that's it's it, that's what you get for not revising. He's a very 
very weird man. Uh, he's my stepdad, so you but know. he knows how to wipe the toilet. Uh, uh, he knows how to wipe it, but he doesn't know when to turn it off. He's an idiot. So it says it, it got to percent complete. Got, it said, not turn off. Do it said one hundred percent complete, and then it said please wait. Obviously, he did not listen, and he turned it off when it was about to finish, and restart the system. But it wasn't able to restart because he pressed the completely shut it down, and now the whole thing's corrupted and broken. So, uh, I haven't been able to do any gameplay whatsoever. So, if any of you know how to fix a corrupted PlayStation 3, please Oh, no, it's, like it's been thrown out. <laughs> Never mind, then. Uh, Imagine if people just rushed down to the comment section like, Oh, uh, No, they probably think, Dominic, you're an idiot. Why did you throw it out? Um, I didn't. My dad did. Because he, when I went to school, and then he, I came back, and I was like, Ah, oh, look, the, I'm going to give it in to fix. And then he's like, it's not here. And I'm like, where is it? Gone. Why? All right, guys. So please remember to like and subscribe, join the feed, and goodbye.